YouTube, how we doing? Today, we're going to be going into another Lemon Pepper Sunday. If you're new to the channel and you don't understand what the hell Lemon Pepper Sunday is, you see the weird thumbnail. Basically, all it is is we do an unscripted video talking about some sort of topic in the NFL um, surrounding football uh, around that effect. And that's what we're doing today. And usually I do this the night before I, I record it and then, you know, it comes uploaded on Sunday. Um, but I'm doing this on Sunday morning. I've been awake since 5 in the morning. And I, th honestly, since last night, I've been trying to think, what do I want to talk about in this video? And I have a slight idea, but I'm still a little unsure how it's going to go. But it'll still come out. I know it will. But if you guys are new to the channel, please be sure to leave a like. It does help me out a ton. Um, it really means a lot when you do as well. Subscribe if you are new. It, that's going to get us up to, you know, hopefully a thousand. We're trying to hit that um, as soon as possible. And if you guys are interested in underdog fantasy, any of your best ball leagues, dynasty leagues, all those kind of th those things that you love to do with baseball, hockey, whatever it may be, you know, go ahead, click that link down the description below. Use code Sormani, S-O-R-M-A-N-I, and they'll match your first deposit up to $100. Thank you, underdog, for sponsoring the channel. Yeah, today we're going to be doing another Lemon Pepper Sunday, and I think what I want to talk about in today, we don't, we're always trying to change up shirts, got an Aaron Donald Super Bowl shirt going on. Um, yeah, I think what I want to talk about is just how it, it seems like almost lost to just enjoy the sport. Um, we've seen it a lot lately with all sports, but social media has caused a lot of us to be more critical, I, I'd say. Um, you see fans of different fan bases you know, spew hate because maybe the team does something that they don't want their team to do, you know? Um, maybe someone says something about their team and they think the opposite, and then, you know, there's bullying and harassment and all this kind of stuff. I think we just need to get back to the the, the roots of the sport and just enjoy football and love football. Um, and, and that's something that I truly believe in uh, because recently, and you've seen it recently on the channel, just even with the T-shirts, I've gotten to a point where... You, as you can see around the room and everything, I'm I'm a Giants fan. I, I've always been a Giants fan, born and raised. Um, it it's odd to see people love their team and hate every other team or hate certain p players and all these things because hate's such a strong word. You know, for for people, you see people hoping for injuries for those players and and, and hoping for the worst, and it's so sad because these are real human beings too just because they're athletic and making millions of dollars doesn't mean they're not humans you know and that, that kind of rubs me the wrong way always because i'm always just trying to you know preach positivity and you know just to enjoy the sport like i said love football and so you know what i've recently been doing to show that is i've been getting a ton of just football league stuff um i i'm a fan of the sport obviously i'm a giants fan you know i'm always gonna cheer for my team I'm always gonna you know that's that's always my team, but I'm just trying to enjoy the sport as much as I can. So if I see a Super Bowl Aaron Donald shirt, that's so that's cool to me. I'm gonna get that. I got some Philadelphia Eagles throwback pajama shorts the other day, um, the old lime green you know type ones that are. I, I love the old Eagles stuff, and they're into the division. They're a rival of the Giants, and I still got it. Why? Just because I love the sport, and I I, I love the history of it, and I, I I'm just trying to enjoy it. At every aspect as I, as I can um, You know I know people That you know hate Tom Brady Right and it's I, I get why people don't like Tom Brady um, I get why people love Tom Brady But you know, at the end of the day I'm happy he's back Because if he ever If I'm ever at a point where I'm able to go see a game With Tom Brady in it I'm gonna go to it Because that is the greatest quarterback of all time One of the greatest athletes of all time And you just have to appreciate that greatness sometimes. Even if you dislike the person and, and such, the greatness of the sport is something that's crazy. Now, when I'm saying love football and enjoy football, I'm not saying that these people that, you know, abuse the sport or, you know, commit crimes and such, I'm not saying that, you know. You don't have to, because I'm saying love football, you don't have to support and defend Henry Ruggs or, or something. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is I think that what happens on the field should be taken as such it's a it's a game on a field and it's for our enjoyment it's for our entertainment and it's these people's livelihoods and it's awesome to see you know whether your favorite team is playing or not you know my favorite team wasn't playing in the super bowl obviously i sat down i watched that game and i was happy for both teams no matter who would have won that game 
right? I wanted Odell to win because I'm a Giants fan and I, I support Odell a ton. But on the defensive side for the Bengals, I'm a, I like B.J. Hill a lot. You know, he's a former Giant as well. So I, I'm not a big fan of Eli Apple, but still at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. Um, but the thing is, is that you could watch any NFL game. You could watch a Jets versus Jaguars game and just enjoy it. You don't have to be critical. You don't have to be so, like, naive about it and, and negative. Because at the end of the day, it's a privilege to be able to be in this situation where we can sit down and watch these games and enjoy these. There's stuff going on in the world that is horrible, truthfully. And we don't have to worry about that for an hour, two hours, three hours, because we're able to, to create a distraction, create a sense of entertainment and fun. That can take us away from all the bad that might be happening or all the all the negativity that might be happening and just enjoy something. The problem is a lot of people bring that negativity there where we see all the time fight videos in the stands or or fans throwing stuff onto the field. Or we see it all the time on social media where fans are are mad at, at, at players because they didn't win them their fantasy matchup and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm one of the biggest fantasy players out there. Like I love fantasy football, but I'm never going to be mad at a player, you know, Uh funny story one of my friends actually met Devonte adams and i had him that year that he was dealing with turf toe and as a joke we were always talking about how like oh man you should have told him that he cost me with that turf toe and everything and we were always laughing about it and joking about it and that's what it was as a joke it was never something i'm gonna go tweet at or i should have been like you should have been mad at you shouldn't have talked to Devonte adams because he this it's so stupid because all he all he is is a person and he got injured doing his job. Any other job you get injured at, you know, you're going to get your time off. And he took his time off to recover. And that's A-OK, you know. And guess what? I still I still did pretty well that season. So um, it, it's not the end of the world because in reality, it's a, we're, we're playing a game within a game. You know, we're playing fantasy football within the sport of football. It's just odd. It's just an odd thing when I see, you know, social media and, and, and you know, other other youtubers and, and such when they put out an opinion and that's exactly what it is is an opinion and people are just in the comment section just spewing like hate like about personal stuff like families and stuff it's like it's so horrible to see where some society is now over social media because you can be a nameless face because you don't have to put your name in you don't have to put your face in you could be you could be you know 49ers fan 24 you know and you can have a 49ers logo as your thing and no one will ever know who you are and no one will ever know what you look like. And you could use that for good or you could use it for bad. And a lot of people use it for bad and they create multiple accounts and they do all these things. And it, that's that's just low. It's just low. And it's sad to see and, you know, you can't fix it. So the best thing to do is for anybody out there that's watching that might be dealing with that kind of stuff. Just ignore it because for every for every bad message, I guarantee you that there's a lot more good messages and, and good vibes around from people that are supporting you um, because that's all it is is that whatever you're doing whatever your opinion is if as long as you're enjoying it and you're loving it. all right so the camera cut out i don't really know exactly where i was at um but I'll, I'll i'll end it by saying this whatever you're doing whether it be football or not just enjoy it if you're if you're happy with it and you're prideful in it and you put that pride in just do it and, and have a good time with it um there's really nothing more that needs to be done or said um, because in reality, it's it's your life. You know, that positivity is going to get you a lot more than the negativity. And I, I deal with it every day. And I, I, you know, sometimes you can read a comment and it can be like, damn, that could really ruin my day, but I'm not going to let it. That's that's really what you have to look at it sometimes. So I think that's kind of where I want to end it. I think that that's a good spot is just enjoy football, love football. And that's what we're here for, you know, speak your opinions, discuss, you know, debate all it is, but keep it positive, keep it, keep it going. And, you know, just it's interaction, just keep the interaction going. But that is going to be it for me. If you guys did enjoy this Lemon Pepper Sunday, please be sure to leave it a like. I know this one was a little bit deeper than other ones. Um, comment down below, you know, your opinions on the topic, obviously. And yeah, let me know. Let me know what's a team that's not your favorite team that you're also you also like watching, you know. For me, I think last season, um, a lot of it usually has to do with my fantasy team. So I watched, I want to say, a lot 
of Titans games because of Derrick Henry at the start of the year. Um, and then beyond that, ah, oh man, who was my team beyond that? I don't know. I can't I can't remember, but I'm going to say Titans for now. Titans are a fun team to watch for me. A.J. Brown and Derrick Henry, I both had on my team, so um, those are really fun to watch. But, uh, yeah, leave a like down below, or leave a like and comment down below. Of course, use code Soromani on underdog, S-O-R-M-A-N-I on underdog. They'll match your first deposit up to $100. Leave a like if you did enjoy. If you didn't, just refresh the page and let me know what you think about it the second time. Because without further ado, that's going to be for me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. How you talking 50K? How you talking making plays? Or just talking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do this shit here on my own time. Time is money, so I did it on my own dime. Word the bookie, yeah, this homage gave me game. Yeah, he taught me family ties. Put your back there, bump me. Nah, I can't wait for you.